technically this is the right way to do it. Well, I'm doing it. I'm digging a little bit of this. Nice and wet. And still gonna be sandy and dirty up underneath. I'm just trying to get a little moisture. And you don't have to do it this way. I didn't do the first, like the right side of the, the garden. I didn't uh, put the box down. So you can see some leaves are popping up. They're already sort of down below. So I'm gonna try it on this side, see if it hurts, if it helps. If not, Garden bed soil, nothing really special. So I got some cocoa in there, a little bit of castings in it, stuff like that. No perlite, no extras. Just regular soil. One is you want your medium damp, holding some moisture just so it can reduce the uh, transplant shot.
I won't be playing all of this because all of this is not viable probably. <clears throat> you want to do you can harvest lettuce continually throughout the year until winter and what you want to cut is high above the stalk right here just taking off the leaves that you're going to take and all of this will just grow right back um <coughs> like certain leaves like iceberg lettuce and all that you can just kind of peel it pick it off and boom you're good show you something. Zoom in over here. So, I've taken off some of the dead lettuce and you'll see in a few weeks it's going to grow. All of this is going to grow but I wanted to show you, demonstrate. I took that much of the lettuce off that probably put it in shock so for the next couple weeks. Should do is get some buy some ladybugs. 
Mm. Oh, you still have to buy the worms. Huh? Yeah. The worms that eat the eggs and the ladybugs that eat the adult flies and stuff. All I'm doing is basically like a rough trim. Take all this bad stuff off so that the plant doesn't waste its energy trying to heal old hurts. Green tomatillos. I don't know what other color they come in. I don't know why it specifically says green on them. Oh, well, because there's red tomatillos. Oh, well, there's my answer. Wait, I think those are tomates. I don't know. Those are just. Those are just green. <laughs> As you can see, tomatillos are already starting to form. I'm gonna give a lot too. Not ready to harvest yet. We got squash, we got tomatillos, we got lettuce. Lettuce, all this is non GMO. Um, and I mean, those are cucumbers. Where? Those are cucumbers. <laughs> squash. Oh, those are the cucumbers. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Gardner, how does it feel? I'm tired. 
This is cool. Now this, do you guys remember the uh, black beans that I originally grew for my first go round for my uh, vegetables? Well, these are seeds that actually were uh, germinated by my girlfriend's mom. And so we're going to plant these in the garden as well. So what we're going to do... There's a couple of small ones. Si se sembran, I don't want to destroy the... You don't have a You know what? I'm going to just plant it like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to... Plant it all together. Yeah. I don't want to... Con el algodón, ¿verdad? Sí. You can take out the butterfly. Huh? Oh, uh, I was going to use the butterfly. Oh, la va a usar la la mariposa oh. para que se agarre. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully they uh do their thing. probably not the right way to do it. Okay. Ahí nos dices que más quieres. ¿Sabes qué? Alright guys, and there you have it. This is the garden that I am actually growing at my girlfriend's mom's house. And as you can see, it has grown, it is prospering. And I will be doing uh <clears throat> some updates on this garden in the next coming weeks just to show you the progress and show you what you need to do to keep away pests and all that stuff. So yeah, just uh, like, subscribe, you know, hit the bell notification, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, happy growing.